All right, guys, new addition to the HAG series here. We're going to be working on running mechanics. So in running mechanics, we're also going to be integrating more so of this plantar flex ankle where we're going to be working through the calves and arches of the feet and through the big toe mechanics. As you can see, my feet and my calves are shaking a little bit right now. That's because primarily I have the only part that I have in contact with the block right now is from the ball of the foot to the tip of the toe. And I'm trying to make sure I keep that ankle extended as far as I can and keeping the arch of the foot loaded, the inside of the calf loaded, dragging my knees together, trying to keep my adductors, inner hamstrings loaded, trying to work into my rib cage, try to maintain a stable rib cage here and initiating at that underside of the glute, kind of that like almost right near the tailbone region of the glute that most people don't have access to. This we're here trying to work through all of those running musculatures right through the inner thigh and integrating it into our torso a little bit. So we're gonna start off with this one and then as you're about to see in a second, we're gonna transition a little bit more into some arch of the foot. So what we're doing here is we're learning how to transition from the push off point on the big toe and through the toes, we're keeping it engaged and we're pulling that heel down to the ground to load into the calf and load into the arch of the foot. Keep that trail leg nice and internally rotated slightly over top of our midline. And we're also keeping the front knee over top of the ankle and internally rotated a little bit. So as you can see, as the camera pans around here, I'm at a pretty narrow stance and I'm trying to pull everything towards my midline here. The big thing you wanna to try to feel is the arch of the foot on the front leg and how you're able to transition from the push off of the arch of the foot on the trail leg into the arch of the foot on the front leg. So I'm trying to do this as slow as possible and keep this a nice even transition and try to keep on loading into my arch and into my calf just a little bit more to try to actually start elongating that plantar fascial tendon at the bottom and that plantar fascial muscle that runs all through the arch of the foot. All those little musculatures of the arch of the foot, yes, they need to be conditioned to be mobile as well for running and jogging. Most people's feet and calves and ankles are not really conditioned for the mobility constraints of running, sprinting, jogging, and most people get pain from it. Um, even me myself today, I tried working a little bit more into some faster paced running and that plantar fascial tendon right at the bottom of the arch of my left foot, it strained a little bit on me, which I'm going to be working through with a lot of these similar things, just making sure that I pay attention to what's actually in my mobility range and what's not which is a big thing that you really need to be conscientious of as you're working through these patterns. Being honest with yourself, where is my end point here? Where do I need to stop? Where is my limit? Because as you're working into new ranges of motion, you do become very prone for creating a new injury. New musculature is very deconditioned and it's not used to exerting forces. So as you're slowly working into it, so as you're working into that tendon and the arch of the foot, into that soleus and that gastroc, into the section of the calf that you can only really access if your knee is slightly internally rotated over top of the foot, you see here, I'm trying to maintain my internal rotation and it's very difficult. So as you can see coming around on the second leg here, what we're doing with this one is we're gonna put our ball in the back crook of the leg as we're kind of a little further ahead than I expected, but here we go anyway. So squeezing our ball as hard as we can, trying to keep that trail hamstring engaged and getting used to staying in our torso here and working through that hamstring, making sure both hamstrings and adductors are kind of active right now. We wanna work through that glute, keeping all of our stride here. So this actually starts kind of looking a little bit like our running strategy right now, which is exactly what we want to do. The big thing here is paying attention, like I said, to your mobility ranges. Try to stay, try to keep pulling everything towards your midline here because you do need a severe degree of internal rotation at the knee and hip to be able to run, and that's what we're working on. Okay, guys, great talking to you. Give some of these a try. I'm going to work on it myself. I have some things I need to break through, but hopefully, running very, very soon.